Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Silent Squeak, the original. I accidentally hit circle again. I gotta be careful about that, because uh, I don't want to turn off my flashlight. Although I don't know if turning off your flashlight makes it easier to, like, avoid enemies. It's possible. I just don't know for sure. Um, right, let's go hand in this item to the tower, because it might change the clock hand so we can focus on another task. Yep, yep, yep. I know there's probably monsters in here now. Actually, my radio's not going off, so we should be fine. A golden sun, eh? God damn it. This is, this is, this is gonna happen for the whole game. Silent Hill 2 better not have this control scheme. A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface. Found in the chemistry lab. There you go, bud. A golden sun. I got it, my son. And there's another uh, engraving on the right. The tower door is locked, but let's look at the time. It now reads 12. Okay, so now we need to get the one that reads 12. And so let's go read the... The notice there. So now that we've done that, a very good chance that we've activated a trigger that has probably spawned in new monsters. So we have to keep on our toesies and pretend that everything we've done so far has been for naught. All those children we wiped out, all back, baby. Most likely, I don't know. So it's not this one. This one's five. We gotta do this one. Uh, what was the number we needed to remember? Well, if we need to remember it, we gotta go back to one of the classrooms. It's written in blood! A place with songs and sound. Okay, so the music room. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. So, either they want me to play an instrument. Uh, the piano. Of which we need to figure out the overall uh, puzzle for that room. So you need to unlock the piano and then play a song. Place with songs and sound. Silver guide spot is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. All right, uh, so I'm guessing we gotta go to floor number three. I don't remember that number. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna load up the old video and quickly double check, because I can't remember. All right, it is 9109. Uh, on top of that, though, I just noticed that the stairs at the bottom here have a downstairs. Let's go check that out. Because I don't think we've considered the fact that we could go down further. All right, there was a little shit right here, though. That's right, bitch. Mason's in town. We haven't gone down here yet. God damn, man. You can't see it because I don't use a webcam, but you wouldn't be able to see it anyway, even if I did have a webcam. But, uh, man, this game makes the hairs on my body to stand up. I don't like it. It's scary. We have the boiler room and the storage. Neither of these seem to be related to what we're trying to do, but... Jam! Okay. But the boiler room, of course, the scarier of the two rooms, can in fact be activated and opened, because of course it can. What else would happen? There's a notice. A couple of valves. Four valves. Valve puzzle? Oops. Uh, the valve is tightly shut and can't move it. Don't know what it is for. Better leave it alone. I can only imagine that, like, we're gonna have to do a valve puzzle. Hello. Oh yeah, there's like a whole contraption here. There is a switch. Do you want to press the switch? Sure. Nothing appears to happen. Okay. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to come back here later and like activate the power for whatever reason. Although the power in the school has been off this entire time. We've just been relying on our amazing flashlight that thankfully lasts forever. Thank goodness. I don't know where I would be without it. Now we did, we did kind of bull rush earlier, so uh, <laughs> we are due for uh, free attacks. 
We got the statue of the hand, we found the piano in the music room, and then we have to figure out what we need to do with that. Um, the question is, we have to answer all three of those bird questions. It was like the dove, the raven, the crow, or the dove, the something or other. Let's go check it out, because it's going to be on the way anyway. We have to get up. Let us sneak our little booties up here. Oh my fucking god, dude. He's gonna squeak because he doesn't have light. He's gonna squeak because he doesn't have light. We just gotta- we just gotta brace. Brace for squeak. Dude, why does he exist? Can he kill me? Can he hurt me? <coughs> or does he just trip and fall whenever I look away? I've- I don't know, this thing is gonna come into play at some point. It's just gonna kill me. I don't trust it, and I'm scared out of my mind. I all speaking of birds, they could definitely fly up here. If they really wanted to. Okay, back into the music room. Fuck! <laughs> I don't mean to do that. I swear. The negligent discharge of this man. Okay, why is this open now? What do you mean? What do you mean? 9109, right? Uh, there's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Check the piano. What? Oh! Is there something in the piano? Oh my god. Am I supposed to hit the ones that are not working or the ones that are working? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try and hit all the ones that are working. This work. Okay, so it goes what one? No, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I can't remember. Shit. Okay, these two don't work, right? Oh, it's do re mi fa so la ti do. So. Shit. Is this right though? I don't know. It doesn't sound like do re mi. Shit. I suck ass. I can't. Listen, I never learned piano. Oh, these are, these are all failures. Okay, never mind. I thought, for some reason I always thought those were the ones. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. Oh my God, really? My memory does not serve me in, in any respect. Oh my God, please. I keep doing the same thing. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. Am I supposed to just hit them in order? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to play a certain theme. Uh, and I just literally don't know what it is. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop. 
yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead the silver or lead you to the silver reward? Yeah, we just gotta clean out this piano here. It's, uh, it's clearly a body or something. You know? I just don't know if there's supposed to be like a certain thing I'm looking for. Maybe I need to go find the notes, uh, like a uh, like find like a musical thing. To tell me what to play. Uh, is even like a metronome or something up top? You can kind of see it above the, the thing. Wait, are there paintings on the roof? Hmm. I, hmm, I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time on this thing, but you know, hey, that's, that's the nature of it all. Huh. I don't know, man. I don't get it. Cause these are these don't work. These ones here. Oops. These all are fake. Now I can't even remember the fake ones. I don't know, man. And also, like, if you look at the blood splotches, it's like, clearly they hit, what, this one, this one, and this one. Then we're supposed to determine how many times they hit the keys based on the blood splotches? Unless we're supposed to do the Silent Hill theme. But good luck doing that. All right, you know what? We're gonna go to the third floor. <laughs> We're going to the third floor, okay, guys? The only the only place we haven't checked. I, did I save it when I handed in that thing? I guess I saved it before I handed it in, so we're fine. We've basically done nothing <laughs> in this entire episode. Listen, I did say my brain don't work uh, when it comes to puzzles, all right? There we go, third floor. Probably be evil children up here. Oh, okay. Oh, great, it's jammed. Okay, so, what are we looking for? What are, what are we looking for? I don't understand this puzzle. Cause now it's, cause now all we have to go on is that puzzle. In the, in the music room, right? That's all, that's all we have to go on. Is that weird puzzle that I don't fully grasp even in the slightest. Because I have yet to see any of these birds that they're talking about. And I can't look closely at any of these objects in the room. I'm really unsure. Alright, give me, give me a moment. Alright. I don't have the answer to the puzzle, but I just looked up a little bit of like a walkthrough from SilentHillMemories.net uh, to kind of just let me know if I missed anything. And really, this is the puzzle. This is the puzzle. So I have loaded up on the other screen the riddle, and that's it. And basically, all they said is this corresponds th uh, to the keys you should be hitting. So everything that this says here. There are five birds, so there are five keys that we need to hit. So that kind of explains it a little bit better for me. Um, so I have this riddle up on the second half, but I don't know what the answer is because I made sure not to read anything like that. I just want to know, like, is there something else I'm supposed to find? But it definitely seems like this is everything here. Uh, so let's go in. So we got to pay attention to the color of the bird and what the, uh, the story is saying. Uh, and essentially we're looking at the, at the broken keys, not the working keys, right? And I believe these two keys here are broken, so that means two birds that are black. And then there's three other keys that are different colors as well? Let's see. It's either bird is white or black, right? So we got this broken one. So yeah, we got broken key. The, the first and last black keys are, uh... 
the ones we want. And we got that broken key here. And we should have two broken keys here as well. That's our five keys. Right? Obviously we can't just spam them, but that's that's the ones. So the first part of the riddle, it's, uh, let's, let's go through these one at a time and see if we can figure this out. I know, I, I don't know anything about this, so we're gonna figure it out. Uh, a tale of birds without a voice. So the first bird flew, this will be the first key that we press. The first uh, bird that flew is the greedy pelican. Eager for a reward, white wings flailing. So the first bird is actually white. So it wouldn't be any of the black keys, which is only, there's only two of them. Uh, but the first bird would then be this key here, most likely. Uh, or maybe he flew ahead, I don't know. Because uh, he was greedy. So he was... The first, the first note that we play... Potentially? Could be this? Uh, anyway, the second... Uh, then came a silent dove, which doves are also white. Uh, flying beyond the pelican, so the it would possibly be the middle one or the last one. Uh, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven... Ooh, blackbird... Flies in, flying higher than the dove. Which would mean that the dove got here, and then the raven got here. So this is the second key, third key. So we still have to determine if the uh, pelican is one of these two keys here. So we got second, third key. So we got, the, we got pelican is one of these two. We got the dove. And then we got the, uh, the raven which is the last. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird, which would be right here. So that would determine that number four is this one, which means our pelican is this one. And finally comes a crow coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. So that'll be this one. That would mean that pelican is probably, let's back out and start over. So I believe, if I'm, if I'm thinking about this right, it should go pelican, uh, and then the dove. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, sorry. This is a real, no, oh, wait, I thought this was a key. Oh, it was this one. Sorry, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Okay, what is that? let's redo that. <laughs> I was just reading it wrong. All right, that's fine. Uh, we do this one. It could be that uh, this is the first one, though. First flew, greedy pelican, eager for reward, wings fling. I don't know. It could be because uh, we'll try. We'll try two different methods. I think this is pelican, unless this one's pelican. But we'll try in a sec because he says he's resting next to another bird. So you know what? I think this one might actually be pelican. Let's do pelican. Uh, dove. The raven. Uh, the swan, which came to chill bet next to another bird. And then finally, the crow who took a nap. Oh, we fucking did it, bro! We did it! We're so smart, our brains are so huge. Oh my goodness, dude. Alright, get ready for all the monsters to spawn. There is a silver medallion. Yes! Yes! The biggest brain. I feel like if this was uh, in the past, I would have literally written this down on a notepad. <laughs> like like an actual piece of paper. Thank goodness uh, multiple monitors exist nowadays. And I just loaded up the, the riddle that someone wrote down. That was, a, that was a cool puzzle. I don't mind it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so most likely things have spawned again. But we just ignore them. Pretend they don't exist, except they do. Here, I hear them all moaning, making creepy ass noises. Let's see how it is. Wait, where are we? Oh, okay. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just going to the infirmary. Look at it. They can't follow me in here. We're perfectly safe. I really don't know if this game has any of those weird tricks where it's like you go to a safe point and then the game just like spawns something on your ass. You never know. Two hours in though. 
Mainly because I'm racking my brain on these puzzles. But we still- that still doesn't, uh, hide the fact that there's a 9109... ...thingy. Bro, bro, bro! Get off of me! I hate you more than anything! Alright, get kicked. Oh, I need to kick it. Oh, no kicks for you, okay. Uh, oh, I meant to actually reload my gun. I'd like to reload my gun, please. Well, I'm glad I was able to to figure out the puzzle after I read like a little bit of a, a tip that's like, no, this is what you need to go on. And then thankfully they just had the, the riddle there. Make my life a little bit easier. I'm not super ashamed of myself for having to just make sure that we didn't miss something. We got the silver moon, so most likely this next one is going to be... ...related to the five one. Yeah, the hands are stopped at five. Five, five, five. So the next one's probably the boiler room. What? The game's frame rate seems so much better now all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. It's like the longer the PS3 runs the game, the better it runs. I don't know why that is. Like, sometimes the game is, like, laggy as hell, but... Darkness that brings the choking heat. Okay, well, obviously that's the boiler room. I mean, like, come on. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Open time's door? Uh, also, my character is injured, so let's uh, have a first aid. Cool. I don't know if that's an overheal, but I was getting the vibration in the controller, so I was like, you know what? Probably. Wait, did we open this before? Oh, I, we must have. Oh, this thing. I don't know who drew it, but it certainly has a bad taste. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can go down below. Or let's, let's save it again, I guess. Or that's not where you save it. Bleh. Yeah, I do want to save it, though. Let's save it, so we don't have to do that again. There's something about doing puzzles and, like, also being freaked out by the monsters that are in the area. It's it kind of works very nicely hand-in-hand. Hand. Uh, what do you say we... I want to save over the same one, that's fine. I don't feel like we need to leapfrog that one. It was pretty simple. Also, wait. Did we ever read this big note? Oh, it wasn't actually, like, a thing? Okay. We do gotta be careful with our healing uh, stuff because nothing seems to respawn in the game other than maybe monsters. We probably should be a little bit more hesitant to spend our ammo. I just figure if we have the ammo, we can use it, but at the same time, we probably need certain ammo for potential boss encounters or something like that, right? Because I do know this series still has boss fights. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows Pyramid Head exists in the second game. Oh, now it has a little hum to it, eh? I'm actually getting a vibration here, too. Okay, so clearly it's not working. Uh, is there a bit of information anywhere at which we can read this stuff? Valve is tightly shut. Can't move it. Don't know what it is for. Better leave it alone. Well, but this is the fiery beast. Isn't this the whole point? That we are to <laughs> engage the fiery monster? It appears to be broken. Great. can't go in here. I... Okay, but it did say go to the clock tower and perhaps it will give us an explanation, so maybe something opened up out in the courtyard. Or that clock tower might have opened up, maybe. Oh god. There are living beings! Alright, I see them. 
Uh, oh, I was going the wrong way. All right, hold on. I don't need to deal with you. I'm going this way. I'm tired of your bullshit. Okay. So, oh god, please. Okay, there we go. I did not realize we actually did open this. <laughs> I thought it was just showing me shit for no reason. All right, dude, stop making me look at things that don't give me any vision, dude. If someone was doing heavy drugs in here. Otherwise, those are just water bottles. It says keep out, so that must mean go in. Wait, what? Where are we now? I don't trust anything right now because I don't know what the hell's going on or where we're going. <gasps> oh shit, cutscene. What? Yo. Your audio cut out, Harry. Have I been here before? Uh, is this like alternate reality elementary school? Oh god, don't stand in that symbol. I've seen alchemy happen before. Hmm. I don't remember this being here before. Is this the same school, but... <gasps> no, is this the Silent Hill I've been thinking about my whole life? Oh, no! It's all the same, but not the same, dude. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> okay. All right, this is the Silent Hill everyone's been talking about. Okay, man walks into the symbol he said not to walk into. Are the doors crying blood? No way! Blap blap! Oh fucking hate you! Oh dude, he can stab you while you're being shanked. I mean grabbed or whatever. Fuck. Okay, so this school just got four times more creepy. Purely based on the fact that we're sucked into this version of Silent Hill. I didn't mean to do that. Luckily, I didn't eat it. We need a save point. We need to get to a save point. That is the goal. We know that the infirmary had one before. So there's no reason it shouldn't now. But... Doors that were once accessible are no longer. Uh, which means should we be checking all doors again? Oh, this is four times more like terrifying than before. Does that mean Ghost Baby's real now? Oh, that could be. It could be. Oh, there's a materia here. Nice. Rubber ball? Oh, no, he's real now. He's got to be. Why else would they give me a rubber ball? He's got to be real. He was a ghost. He was a ghost from Silent Hill. The headless doll is stuck to the wall. This is, this is the kid's room, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Squeakles is real now. Or... The tiny child was, in fact, Squeaky Doll Man. Wait, the door works? Wait, I, I thought I said the door doesn't work. Why is it saying the door works? Yeah, it says the door works. You're lying to me! You lied to me! You f Fuck! I don't want to go. I don't trust anything I'm looking at, dude. I don't trust anything I'm looking at. Uh, <laughs> this is way worse. No! <laughs> we have to go through here. Fuck you, Silent Hill, dude. Please, no! No, it's gross! They're even worse. They're like scorpions. Oh, I have to kick him. I have to kick him. Kick him. Kick him, Mason. One shot wonder. That's what they call me in high school. 
what the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> oh god, dude, this is good! Holy shit, this game's a fucking crazy thrill. Alright, there's supposed to be a door in here. Um, is this the door? I'm looking at it, okay. This is good, man. For a game that's like on PS1, like, this is more terrifying than most modern horror games. And I, and there's like no jump scares for the most part. Like everything is like in world stuff. It's not like some Freddy just like jumps in. And he's like, blah, 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 oh, you forgot to close the door. Oh, now you're dead. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Like this is like legit, like atmospherically terrifying. And it plays on your fears of the, of un, like unknowingly going to places that you're just unsure about picture card. Take it. And there's all these, um, the cards are scattered. There's all these other things. Oh, great. Two bloody ass doors. Holy shit. For a game that, like, it is as, uh, alias as it is, the, it actually helps the environment so much. Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children! A rectangular card with a picture of a key found on a desk in a classroom. Wait, this is a key? A low key? Okay, one of these has gotta be Evil Monster Man. There is no reason for me to check these doors other than the fact that there's blood in them. So, expect loud noise and big monster. Fine, nothing happened. Okay, we're good. Later. Nope. Nope. Fuck off. No, fuck off. No! Fuck off! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Okay, you guys are all assholes. I want you to know that. Okay. Maybe I'm just wasting my ammo on them. We gotta check the room. They're surrounding me! They're military tactics! No, no bounds! Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Get out of me! Alright, we're going. What? What do you mean, jammed? Oh shit, we went the wrong- <gasps> We were at the door? Okay. No, oh, get over me! Okay, fuck you! Dude, these guys have magnets for arms. We're definitely injured now. Uh, as judging by my, my controller. Oh, we are injured. All right, we're good now. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Pleasant game about killing children. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, we're so close to the infirmary. It's just through this door here. On the left. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck, I'm going in! This guy be dead. Oh man, the walls are now flush! I don't trust it, I don't trust it. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Gimme. Dude, this game is like actually fantastic. Holy shit. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. In Silent Hill, health drinks respawn. <laughs> Ah, what were they thinking? Giving me health drink. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. This game is uh, too good for its own good. And we're barely even scratched the surface. Uh, I think the game is about... Um, isn't the game about eight hours? Something like that? And we've been taking our time uh, going through the puzzles, so we're probably not that far into it. Uh, so it might actually be a 10-hour playthrough or something, but we shall see. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.